Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dean Hop Realtors. About a month ago, I decided I want to do a motorcycle tour of the areas surrounding Randolph Air Force Base to include Shirts and Cibolo, Texas. But we did the Shirts, Texas one. Today, we're going to do Cibolo, Texas. Absolutely love this area. So, yeah, let's go check it out. I absolutely love the downtown Cibolo area. We hang out, me and my family hang out here quite a bit. Another thing I really like is when uh, viewers recognize me out in public and they come up and say hi. It really makes me feel good. So if you do see me out and about, don't hesitate to come up and say hi. But yeah, that's the old main ice house. I was just there last night. We got a really good pizzeria, um, Harmon's Barbecue, um, <clears throat> just so much going on in the downtown Cibolo area. We got another uh, little place over here. And I've done a video tour of Old Main Ice House a long time ago. But another little uh, beer place with a beer garden area. Often live music back there. But so much going on. <coughs> Pardon me. A neat little cigar bar. Uh, just so much happening in the downtown Cibolo area. It's a Saturday afternoon in april 2024 you can see there's a lot of stuff going on but well, all right enough about me talking about the downtown area we're going to drive through that in a little bit but yeah let's hop on the bike and show off the area all right we're going to begin our tour of cibolo in the brand new community of venata crossing i've already done video tours of both these model homes the highland and the beezer home um but this is a uh new community with a lot of mid-tier builders in it uh perfect for military folks you're about uh i don't know maybe a 12 minute drive from here to the front gate of randolph air force base uh really nice community um if this is high, uh 78 that we're going to be going to if i go to the right up here uh, just a few miles down the road is the small little town of Marion and oh my gosh they've got one of the my favorite meat market pinch horns um, if you're living in this area you've got to go to pinch horns to get your steaks um, they are phenomenal all right so let's head on down to 78 and the reason uh, they're building out here is might seem a little bit out in the country but the place is growing uh, so finding communities that have uh, spaces available, uh, the city of Cibolo is having to expand out here a little bit. Sorry if that wind's catching you. Uh, it's a beautiful sunny day today, but a little bit breezy. Uh, as I'm filming it, it is mid-April 2024. Uh, perfect time for those, if you're watching me online, and you've got orders to Randolph Air Force Base or even Fort Sam, still not a bad place to be at. And you're researching the area because, yeah, if you guys don't know, I am retired Air Force. I PCS probably seven times, and I know right, right after I got orders, one of the first things I did was start doing research on the new place I'm going to. So uh, I'm hoping that's what you're doing right now. And you're gathering information on the area and hey if you don't already have a realtor to help you with your move to this area that's kind of what i do i help people relocate to the uh, greater san antonio area to include church that below um new Braunfels, bulverde and bernie uh, all over the area because uh, I, I like being boots on the ground and i like helping people so good church right there that i'm just passing But yeah, we could go a little bit fast on this road, but not too fast. I saw someone getting pulled over uh, a few minutes ago on my way out here. But uh, if you did just good orders to Randolph, congratulations. I, w I did spend uh, like six years at Randolph. Absolutely loved it. Uh, this is the new YMCA in Cibolo, Texas. It's only been open for a couple years. Really nice nice parks in the area Oop, see that person I was talking about getting pulled over it's still there all right we're coming up to the downtown area of Cibolo which is one of my favorite parts of Cibolo um, they have a lot of events going on here they're getting ready to do like a Native American event uh, coming up pretty soon so that's kind of cool 
but I absolutely love the downtown Cibolo, Texas area, and you're about to see why. Um, me and my friends, we all were just hanging out here just last night. Um, did a little bar hopping, uh, ate at a food truck, and um, then uh, ended up at Old Main, and I really enjoy that place. This, what I'm seeing shown to my right, is the whole city hall thing. If you need to get vehicle registered, uh, cigar bar place right there. Um, another realty group there. Don't worry about them. No, nah, I'm kidding. Those are good people there. Uh, but the Cibolo Municipal Building is very convenient. Uh, this is Guadalupe County. Uh, love that old building with the little Model T there. Um, so I've had a rental property here in Cibolo. There's somebody getting ready for the Native American event. St. Paul Catholic Church. They do events there too. Uh, but this is coming into the old part of Cibolo, which I really like. And I'm so glad they kept all this stuff here and just renovated instead of gutting everything. Harmon's Barbecue, that is a local favorite. You got some more little tavern places and food trucks. They keep painting that sign all the time. But yeah, crossing the train tracks, the trains comes all the time. Hey, there's the uh, subcontractor. That's where I ate a food truck yesterday. Pizza place, really, really good. And coming up to Old Main, this is where we ended up. They have an outdoor, indoor, and outdoor venue for concerts. I go and put a link. I did a video tour of that. Where I had ice cream at last night and the cool little shops. The restaurants, the Rooted Fork is really, really good. We go there for brunch all the time. Um, one of these is 1908 bar. Uh, that's where it's a really popular wine bar. And the Kindling is another cool place to go eat. So I know it's a quick flyby of the area, but I got a car behind me. But it's a really convenient place to kind of go walking around, hit up a few places, and just relax. Uh, I really like Old Main a lot because um, good music. You have like live music there on most weekends. Uh, there'll be food trucks pulled up there. And now we're coming out of the old main uh, part of uh, Cibolo, Texas. And now we're coming up into a little bit newer part of it. Well, except for this, what I'm about to show you here, the old Cibolo Bowling Club. I believe it's still open. They have uh, the old school thing. But here comes new school, the brand new HEB. It just opened up, uh, shoot, maybe about a year and a half ago. And it is really nice. Let me tell you what, it ticked these people off because this was an open field for decades. And they've been living here, you can tell those are older homes. They've been there forever. And they're kind of miffed that they couldn't tell H-E-B. And they H-E-B, the grocery stores, owned this lot forever. And they don't like to build until the population can support a very successful store. Let me try to swing in here real quick. Kind of show you the front end of it. But H-E-B is... Uh, one of my earlier videos I did was the HEB by my house off of 3009. And it's if you've been stationed here before uh, or grew up in the area, you have a deep passion for the HEB grocery store. Great place to work, always very clean, very friendly, and they always have neat little things. I believe this place has a, I uh, can't remember, they got a barbecue joint here inside of it or not. Yeah, there's the Texas barbecue place. So, I mean, there's just some really cool stuff going on, and HEB is a really good gro uh, grocery store. I believe the name is Howard E. Butts is what the HEB stands for. And if your last name was Butts, you'd probably uh, go by HEB instead. All right, let's check out the area. <clears throat> All right, coming in here uh, just 10 years ago, None of this stuff was here in Cibolo and a Walmart. It was there was just an elementary school and some open fields. And let me tell you, the locals weren't real happy about them putting a Walmart here uh, because they said it was just too close to the school, the added traffic. They weren't going to be real happy about that. But now the Walmart came in as an anchor store. So much more has come into the area. So many restaurants. We're about to drive right by them. But uh, 
yeah there's a lot going on um steel high school is just down the road here we're gonna drive by there a little bit later but yeah steel high school is one of the big mega schools and they are a texas powerhouse football team uh they won the state championship uh, a couple of years back but they always go pretty far in the playoffs um so you got Clem, Clems, Clemens High School is for shirts, uh, Steele's going to be Cibolo, and Converse Judson, of course, is in Converse, Texas. Converse used to be a powerhouse back when I was in school back in the early 90s. But all of this stuff here is just brand new. Um, so many, of course, we got a bunch of uh, emergency places, emergency room things, those popped up everywhere new taco bell there's the walmart i was talking about earlier so the walmart came first and then all of this other stuff came in uh the panda express we just got a chipotle here mods pizza just came in and i'm a big fan of mods pizza they do really good uh custom pizza there's the mod pizza trying not to die here but all this stuff, uh, there's Chipotle, got a Zagsby's, Chick-fil-A just opened up its store here uh, about two months ago. So, and now we got another, uh, what is it, P. Terry's bur burger joint coming here. Uh, they have a P. Terry's in New Braunfels. And uh, yeah, it's not so expensive. But yeah, here's the elementary school that has been here for a long time. And like I mentioned before, they were just all fields surrounding it all right this is going to be the falcon ridge uh community um some decent homes in there kind of all mid-grade homes nothing too big and exotic uh kind of reason i like the shirt symbol era everything's kind of mid-grade you're not going to have anything really super ran down but you're also not going to have the super high-end stuff well there's gonna be one community and i'm going to show you that a little bit later it's got more higher end things but well, right now we're on Cibolo Valley Road. Like I said, Falcon Ridge community there. Um, real popular with military just because of the price bracket. Um, but you can tell, beautiful trees, easy roads. They just kind of redid this whole road last year, so it's kind of nice. But I really do love, uh, just like anybody who's been stationed here before, it's like, man, you spend a couple years at Randolph and living in the Cert Cibolo area, and you end up retiring in this area, because, just like I did, because it's such a really neat, convenient place. Um, when I made that turn into downtown Cibolo, you're just a few miles left, and then you're into at Randolph Air Force Base, maybe two miles away from Randolph. But I covered that when I did my Shirts Texas video. All right, this is going to be Bentwood Ranch, another really decent community. Uh, some good homes in there. Uh, nice pool that we're about to come across. But the people in this area are quite nice too. Just because there are so many, many military people. Yep, middle of April, and yep, people all out hanging at the pool. There's our big Cibolo water tower. Now this is, I know this video is not going to get a ton of views. I already know that just by past experience doing videos like this. But I try to put people in, put myself into those folks who did just get orders here or considering moving here. They want all the information. Deer Crest, another nice community. Um, and I would watch a video like this if I know nothing about the Shirt Cibolo area. I'm watching videos like this and uh, I'm not worried about the clicks. I'm worried about providing as much information as possible. Legacy Traditional School. That's a charter school. Texas has gotten really big on their charter schools. Uh, I got some friends of mine. Their kids go to that school and they really like it. Uh, there's, I know there's a Legacy Charter School in Arizona. That's where they came from and they were super excited to see that Legacy was building a school here. This school has been in existence for about two years now, I believe. All right, we are now making our way up toward I-35, which is under construction because I-35 is always under construction. 
uh, Braywood. Like I said, all these communities are kind of on the same tier. Got a little bit nicer homes here. I like the little walking trails. Got some garden homes back that away. But yeah, Braywood's a really nice community. Gonna be a little bit bigger homes, but most of these houses are gonna be built in the early 2000s, I guess. Another, uh, what is that? I thought it was a dentist place. We have a lot of dental clinics here too. Uh, actually, I live kind of just down the road here, kind of zigzag back in the neighborhood. But these church Cibolo area is so intertwined, it's really hard to tell them apart. Uh, if you look on the map, it, it's confusing. You go one block away and all of a sudden you're in shirts, And another block, you're in Cibolo. New fire station for Cibolo. Uh, pro tip, if you're looking to vote, that place gets really, really crowded. There's a church. Um, that's real convenient that has had nobody there RD's barbecue I me mean not barbecue hamburger joint that's been there for a long time all right getting a little closer to I-35 another little older community right there I forget the name of it I've been through there before it wasn't too wild with that community But yeah, Search Cibolo, they both kind of live right between 78 and I-35. So I'm just kind of zigzag through some of these areas to give you an idea. <clears throat> All right, uh, the neighborhood I'm just crossing here is notorious for foundation issues. So if you see the willow stuff and we're getting closer to I-35, this whole stretch from where I'm at now to I-35 it's kind of a no-go area. You can already see kind of the shifted fence stuff. Um, it's just enclave at Willow Point. Okay, yeah, Willow Point. I'm like, just about every house in this community has got foundation problems. So I would not recommend buying a house in there. Uh, and that bad foundation area kind of goes right along I-35 here for this first uh half a mile I guess so I'm sh I haven't been into Lantana before but I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna have some uh, foundation issues as well this is a new uh, I guess high-end apartment complex you can see right there uh, they're working on it they just cleared all of that up but I wanted to go ahead and take you on up here so I want to show you something that's kind of unique and uh, a little bit funny I think uh, the shirt Cibolo area because they are two different cities sometimes they might get their uh, lines crossed and they don't talk to each other all that much so they might be building similar things just across the street from each other because they're two different cities um, this is a brand new shopping area I know the leases are kind of high on here, so they're having a hard time filling those up. But let me get to where I can show you. Uh, that big building right up back there is a Santico's, which is a really high-end movie theater slash bowling alley slash kids play uh, game rooms and all that stuff. So it's a really cool place to go watch movies where you can like. It has a full bar in there. Speaking of a cool place to eat, this is Willie's uh, Ice House. Um, uh, oh my gosh, their burgers are just phenomenal and uh, they will fill you up. There's the good view of the oh God, laser tag and bowling there at the Santigos. All right. The reason I was talking about all that and how odd it is that they did the Santigos here is because just on the other side of Cibolo Valley is an Evo, which is pretty much the exact same thing as Santigos. Uh, out of the two, I kind of like Evo a little bit better. Um, you are going to see a lot of high schoolers just kind of hanging out there. <clears throat> um, same thing with Santigo, playing some games, doing a little bowling. Uh, but the Evo, there it is, you can see it across the field there. 
um, I like this you can push a button on their recliners and the server will come out and bring you food but yeah there's a i35 up that way but both of them are gonna have the full bowling alleys game rooms full bars I like the Evo's bar a little bit better as well but if you go do that uh, yeah be expected to drop some cash because movie tickets of course they're not cheap anymore along with uh, the drinks at the bar they're not very cheap and nor is the food but the food is really good so if you want to have a family night out that's not a bad way to go all right we're gonna backtrack a little bit because I want to show you one neighborhood and we're gonna cut across over to 1103 so yeah we're still on simple can simple value dang it light got me here But there are some nice communities uh, right down Old Wiederstein Road here. Um, a little bit further up, you do have a community of Riata. I really like that community as well. It's in between the Shirt Cibolo area. I think I sold three, maybe four homes in Riata because it is a really nice community with some great builders. Chas Mars building and was building in there. They've already closed out. Uh, and there's a couple of MI was building in there and Guillen was building in there All of it's been closed out and now if you want to move in there, you're looking at pre-existing homes All right coming back up through here the Willow Point area, which I told you is kind of a no-go place Crime in the Cert Cibolo area really isn't bad at all. Um, especially like, I don't want to try to steer stuff. But yeah, crime's not too bad at all. I really enjoy living in the Cert Cibolo area. All right, nice little donut place there. I go there all the time because yeah, I live pretty much walking distance from where we are right now. Oh, uh, the Chinese joint that's right up here too. Uh, that's one of my favorite little quick Chinese places as well. So you go Green Valley and uh, Cibolo Valley. Look for the Chinese, uh, I'm trying to remember the name of it, Magic China. Shout out to the, late, uh, to the owner there of Magic China. She does watch my channel. So yeah, look up Magic China, uh, Cibolo, Texas. Go on in there. They've got great food and super friendly staff. And the prices are really good too. So uh, yeah, go hit up Magic China and Cibolo. Check it out. All right, we're coming to this area here. This is where I think you have those garden homes. And back here, we're driving through uh, a DR Horton community. Um, there used to be a way you could drive around it, but now you kind of have to drive straight through it. And we're on Green Valley Road. Uh, there's Saratoga. This this is actually really nice. Well, it's got two different tiers of what they're building as far as D.R. Horton in here. You got the regular D.R. Horton, the mid-level homes, and a little bit higher level homes. An amazing amenity center. And then on the other side, you got the D.R. Horton Express homes, which are definitely going to be a little more of a entry level and that's going to be on my right but uh green valley road and you can zigzag your way all the way up green valley road into new Braunfels if you really wanted to but i wanted to go by here just to get over to 1103 and show you uh just how close you are to everything with uh Mesa Western, which is going to be the highest end community in Cibolo. And it's not a big community. Uh, they do have a lot available right now. Highland Homes and Chesmar Homes both build their top of the line product there in uh, Mesa Western. And we're pretty close to that right now. But you can tell we got some country here in Cibolo, Texas as well still. Just a little parts of it. There used to be a lot more, but more communities keep coming in. But uh, it's 
sorry I missed I didn't do this video when all the blue bonnets were out I am gonna put a couple of blue bonnet pictures uh, they kind of went away about two weeks ago so I missed the blue bonnets are usually only out for like three weeks and then they're kind of gone you can see a little bit of remnants left of them all right here is the Mesa Western community I've done quite a few videos of the homes there I just kind of want to give you a bearing of where this community is at but some beautiful homes in that community on some very wide lots the, the depth of most lots are only about 120 feet but they've got like 75 foot wide lots now this is Green Valley Elementary School um, Green Valley or Cibola Valley I'm brain farting Cibola Valley that's right that is a big mega elementary school uh, really awesome that school's been open maybe seven or eight years now all right I'm not gonna go to the left but you do have some nice new construction communities uh, of turning stone to my left trying to avoid not getting ran over uh, turning stone is up there to my left and then some other nice communities <clears throat> and if you keep going straight here you run into a brand new community uh, a little bit further on out in the country uh, built by Meritage Homes so uh, Meritage I have them as a solid mid-level builder Big Hops I haven't been into Big Hops but I know it's uh, I've heard good things about that as far as uh, IPA type beer place all right, we are now on 1103. This road goes from all the way from 35, and it's the one that kind of curves around to Steel High School. Another new uh, pre-K learning center type thing coming in there. Is that a Gracie Jiu-Jitsu place? Cool, that's new. But also some neat communities in, back in here as well. All kind of mid-level. There's another brighter future learning system. That's the one I was thinking about before. And uh, down the road, uh, TxDOT does plan to really widen this road. She's kind of beat up right now, but they are gonna widen this up and make it a little bit more uh, user friendly. I know the traffic in the mornings off this road trying to get on to I-35 does back up quite a bit. It never stops here in Texas. See, they're getting ready to build something here. Well, yeah, I do love living here because proximity to Randolph, of course, but I'm also only uh, about a 20 25 minute drive from here to New Braunfels. And uh, Good God, if y'all been watching my channel for a while, you know I absolutely love New Braunfels and the Texas Hill Country. A little bit older communities back here, uh, except for this one that's a Meritage Home community. They've already been all sold out years ago. Oh, and uh, me and my wife went to this place here. They had like a souffle cafe there and they had some Dominican Republic food and uh, I thought it was quite delicious. So shout out to them. Uh, we weren't expecting Dominican Republic. We thought we were gonna get some souffles. But uh, yeah, it was quite nice. I don't know if y'all saw it in my camera, but we had a little dead armadillo on the road just there. Little Texas speed bumps. Yeah, I, I really like armadillos, but I wish they didn't get startled and jump up <laughs> and they 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 end up killing themselves pretty quickly when they you drive over and they jump up sorry it's probably a little gruesome y'all didn't need to know about that while researching the area but yeah here is still high school that is a mega big high school uh you got anything and everything uh they do have a good air force rotc program at that school so if you're curious about that for or if you got some high schoolers looking for the area uh, 
uh, funny fact, their big uh, football stadium here, they can't currently use it. Uh, I guess where they built it, they didn't have enough handicap accessible things. So they play their home games at Clemens in uh, Church right down the road here. So I wonder if they're going to get that resolved eventually, but uh, at least that's the way it was the last time I went to a game. <coughs> oh, pardon me. All right, we're now coming up on back. We kind of curved around and we're coming back to Zippolo Valley. Uh, oh, and there's also some nice homes up in Buffalo Crossing area. I know Princeton, and there's a couple of builders that way back that direction. They kind of built onto the back part of Buffalo Crossing. So some more nice uh, windows. I'm trying to show you that walking trail there. But, uh, wind kind of getting me. I hope my sound's all right with this wind that's blowing. But now we're coming back on the intersection of Cibolo Valley and 1103 because there's the HEB again. <coughs> we're going to go a little bit further and then uh, we'll wrap it on up as we get back to 78 this direction. So yeah, if you find these videos interesting, please hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And yeah, if you don't have a real estate your agent you're already working with, I'd be really happy to help you out. Um, I've had some people say that they didn't call me because they thought I was just super, super busy just because of the videos. And I'm like, really? I'm not that busy. I could definitely help out. Um, the market has slowed down a little bit here, so I'm definitely not as busy as I was during like those Two years of covid where everybody was moving to texas all at once but yeah interest rates suck right now as of april 2024 so that's gonna mean less people looking to buy right now but hey if you are looking to buy i'll be definitely willing to help you guys out <coughs> hmm. i could use some water right now <clears throat> but we're coming back up to 78 and uh not a whole lot of excitement out here, except for we do have our tractor supply coming up uh, on the corner. And some other neat little restaurants, the little wing it place, that was good. And I had another little pizzeria place. But yeah, there's tractor supply. And here's the railroad tracks where we have to cross. And then we're back on 78 heading towards Shirts, Texas. And I'm probably about to see a sign any second saying, welcome to Shirts, Texas. Um, really neat, uh, nice Italian restaurant just came in. They took over one of my favorite Mexican food joints, but I'm not even trying to say it. But you see the Mexican restaurant here, you just gotta turn and go back and they got some really good Italian food. A really neat outdoor living space as well not living space <laughs> outdoor dining space as well all right now we're entering shirts texas leaving cibolo so it's time to wrap this video up all right hit that like button subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you soon take care now bye